It's time. I am ready for the biggest release of the year so far. Literally, no idea what gear to take, but based on previous questing experience, we're going to take some combat stuff, all the tools and all that. I've got my elf crystal and some elf teleports. I'm an iron man, so I've only got 11. Hopefully these are going to be fine. But the quest actually starts off at Edmund. They released a little thing that tells you where you're going to start. Near the Flying Horse Inn. I've got all the requirements, of course. I'm doing it on my maxed Iron Man Mr. Solo mission. Hopefully I can get through this. Apparently there's going to be a hard puzzle in the middle of it, a light puzzle, but we shall see. Two minutes to go. Let's do this. It's here and the login screen looks absolutely incredible. Oh my god, this is, it just doesn't work, does it? I have to enter this every day. Start Song of the Elves quest. Let's go. Well, it's time to get screwed over as an Iron Man. That's actually not too bad. Steel items are all fine. Red dye. Oh my god. Silk and purple dye. I'm pretty sure I can pick up the purple dye from down here. There's someone picking it up already. Oh my god. How long does it take to spawn? I'm just going to get PvP. This could be a terrible idea. I'm about to die from my back, boys. There's going to be a max guy here. Ah, uh, we're all good. Safe. Any risk in all my bank? Pretending to be an Arnie Knight. Little did they know I've got D claws. Let's go. Wait, what colour? It's sulfuric acid. I'm pretty sure sulfuric acid's colourless. I did, I did science at uni. I should know this shit. Hell yeah. Let's go. Oh my god, let me through this flipping door. I'm getting door jammed on the quest. I couldn't leave you to rot. I care about you, Eleanor. Damn, this is getting deep. We're getting a romantic connection in this quest. They actually want me to rag on the members of Ardoin. <laughs> this is so funny. I'm just going to cause chaos, apparently. Alright, sabotage. Yes. We set the food on fire. We have... you got to be such an evil person. Look at this. This is a depressing sight. I wonder what this is going to look like afterwards. It's a full-on overthrown of Ardy. It's absolutely mental scenes right now. Oh, he's going to get brutalized. Oh, my days. This quest has no chill. Oh, no. They just got killed with 80s. Crystal Baron in an 80s. It's a rag as wet dream, boys. <laughs> Oh my god. I'm here for you if you need me. I swear my character's trying to crack on with Eleanor. She is packing, to be fair. A PvP world. Let's go. I need to get a black knife. I'm getting out of here right now. That's way too risky. Right, so now you have to use all these different items on these pillars in order. And I'm a bit worried because you need flowers. So you need myth seeds. And the only way to get myth seeds after waterfall quest is in the legend skill. So I might not be able to do this quest on my pure if I've used my myth seed. So I'm very scared about that one. Wait, imagine if I could just teleport into Prif using the crystal now. <laughs> that didn't work. Oh my god. We're here. I've made it. I think this is going to be the big puzzle. The grand library. Hello. These look familiar. What is going to do? Yeah, I got the crystals and everything inside here. Oh my days, it's looking so huge. We're gonna be screwed. It's time to spend five hours trying to figure out a puzzle. Hey, I'm done with the light stuff. Oh my days. The only thing I found out from other people is just trying to get across those books. <laughs> I think it was on the seventh one or something. But yeah, the last one actually wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. I struggled with the other ones more. I think you feel... You start to get the hang of like what you're actually doing. It's a war zone. The end of RuneScape is near. Damn, here's boss fight number one. He's taking my prayers off. What the hell? Alright, it seems pretty easy. Look how thin the whole city is and it's my palm trees just chilling here. <laughs> Didn't really think this one through, did they? Oh my god. Hey, it's Priff for the first time. Let me in, bro. Wait, what do I do? All these guys look like they're from RS3 and then you just got... The OG, General Heining, he's still going strong. I think range or melee works perfectly fine on this guy. He's not too... Alright, just hit me a 30. Every time it's... What's this? This spear into a javelin. This looks cool. I think this is the final boss. Fragments of Seren. Damn, this looks spooky. It's like the RFD part where you get your thing flambeed or whatever you call it. Okay, this is pretty basic. You just have to keep your HP really high. Major prey range. Attack these crystal whirlwinds when they come out. And I should be absolutely fine here. Okay, that should be the final hit. There we go. I have completed the boss fight. Damn. It looks, it looks really cool. I'm rating that. I don't think I rate the graphics of the actual elves themselves. They look kind of weird. I kind of wish they kept them the same as the old ones. But the quest so far has been pretty epic. 
quest complete. Hey, that's actually a lot of XP. Not that I care about that these days. Uh, Max, by the way, let's go explore Prifridness. Prifness, whatever the hell you call it. It is looking mighty fine in here. Oh my days. So much stuff to do. There is so much content to try out in Prif, but what I wanted to go to first, and the only thing I've actually done since I got into Prif, is the gauntlet, and it is so fun. It reminds me of dungeoneering a lot. With the added pressure of the time, the time element is a big factor. Once you reach the 10 minute time in the gauntlet, you're teleported in and you have to do the boss with whatever gear, food, items, weapons, armor that you can craft yourself in the time given. Now, obviously I started off on the standard mode, just like everyone else would do as you're learning what makes what, that sort of thing. I'm a massive noob at the start of things, like it really confused of what fits together to make the armors and all that sort of thing, but I managed to get it down in the end and get a completion of the standard gauntlet. Come on, you done it. Yay, my first gauntlet completion. 841, I'm sure that's terrible. And I'm look, I'll look back on this in a few weeks time and it'll be awful. Start getting comfortable at times. Do, 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 do. A better challenge. The Corrupted Gauntlet. I think that's the harder version. So let's start, see what we get for our first gauntlet completion. First actual completion. Crystal shards, three rune full helms, and one rune plate body. Not too bad for 10 minutes work. And obviously, we can get the Blade of Saladol from doing this. All right, here we go. Making a crystal key for the first time. An enhanced one. Hey, there we go. Enhanced crystal key. That's actually decent XP, you know. And now we can use this to open the crystal chest. Whether, wherever that is. I'm not really sure where it is right now. You've never opened the crystal chest. The first ever one. Let's have a look. That is really good loot. Oh my god. 92k from the crystal chest. Crystal keys are going to go up a lot. And I've got a lot of money invested in them. Let's go. All right, hard mode. Let's go. Enter the corrupted gauntlet. I figure it's just the same thing, but harder. You have eight minutes. Oh my god, instead. Ooh, this is going to be very close for comfort with the time. No! Oh, fuck. So, as I mentioned before, there is the regular gauntlet, the blue one, and then there's the corrupted gauntlet, the red one. And the corrupted gauntlet is basically gauntlet on steroids. It's like the challenge mode. Instead of 10 minutes, you only have 8 minutes in the dungeon. And also, the final boss fight is a lot harder. It hits harder, it's got higher HP. It is a bit of a struggle, but luckily I've managed to get myself one challenge mode KC for this video. The general strategy I was going for probably isn't going to be the fastest, but I think it was a consistent way of getting really far into the boss fight. I would run around the rooms and as I was running around the rooms, I was collecting supplies on the way. So if I could see any supplies I needed, I would just pick them up as I thought about what I was going to do next. I was always aiming for a tier two body and legs which you need wood for, you need rocks for that you mine, and you also need the wool for that you pick off the trees. You need three of each for each armor piece you make. And then also, you've got to use the crystal shards to upgrade your weapons. The bow and the halberd were a lot better than the staff. I don't know if I was using the staff wrong or something, but it was shocking in my opinion. I don't know if I was doing the most efficient thing. It's day of release. Nobody knows what they're doing. But essentially, time is of the essence in here. You have to sprint around opening the doors. It is literally just like dungeoneering. I mean, a bit more basic than Dungeoneer, but you get the general gist. When you kill monsters, they drop crystal shards and they have a chance of dropping a weapon frame, which you use to upgrade and make weapons. So that's really important to get as well. This isn't going to be a guide. I'm just talking you through what I've done on my challenge mode runs. It's possible to upgrade to a tier three weapon, which I believe is quite important if you do want to get a completion of challenge mode. So you have to find a bear to get the halberd or a dark beast to get the bow, or a dragon to get the tier three staff. So that's what I was always aiming for. I was always aiming to get a bear and a dark beast or a dragon because without those upgrades, I'm not sure if I'd be able to do it with my PBM skill at the end. And if you thought getting all the weapons and armor was bad, you have to get your own food as well. You have to fish in the pools, get the food, cook the food, and then you're ready to go. 
Oh, no, wait, there's one more thing. You have to make the potions as well for prayer and run energy. Yep, this is a monumental challenge. And honestly, it comes down to the wire so much. I can't even tell you the amount of times that I just got... I ran out of time and I had raw food in my inventory. It is very fine margins getting into the boss room with enough supplies. In the main room is where you make all the equipment. You sink the shards and the supplies into a bowl and that makes your armor that you upgrade from tier one through to tier three. I don't know if anyone's ever gonna be able to make a full tier three set because that's a lot of collecting stuff and a lot of shards and all that to actually be able to use that. I tended to take a mental note of where the fishing spots were and then fish at the end. I'm not sure if this is actually a good thing to do or not, but it just meant that I could have my inventory all set up and then just teleport back to the start, cook all my food, and then I'd be ready to go into the boss fight. Now, as for the boss, it's got similar mechanics to Hydra in the fact that it does four range hits, then four mage hits. Four range, four mage. And then it's also got an attack which takes off your prayer. But I believe that this does count as one of the range or the mage hits. So basically, counting to four simulator, but this time it hits through your prayer. So that's not ideal. And if that wasn't enough, you have to switch between your halberd, your staff, and your bow. It obviously protects against one of the styles, so you obviously have to be switching around quite a lot. It does it quite a lot, but fire. The next mechanic is it spawns in these crystals which chase you around the room. That's kind of like Hydra as well with the electric attack. You just gotta try and dodge and avoid that. If you do walk through it, you take damage. And finally, areas of the floor start to glow red to warn you it's coming. And then when it's yellow, you can't stand on it. If you stand on that area, you take an absolute ton of damage. There's a lot of moving around in this boss, very interactive. It takes your prayer off. You have to switch your weapons. I actually really do like it. It's been very fun to try. It gets really messy towards the end when it starts doing the complex patterns on the floor. So I feel like killing it faster is definitely a big advantage. Like I said before, this is in no way meant to be a guide because it's day one. I'd be naive to think I could make a guide on this sort of thing. I'm no PVM genius. I'm just going to roll the rest of my kill and hope you enjoy it. They were watching face, I was watching Akira 90s kid, 2000s era 12 years old, DC shoe wearer No sanguine, I just sang era Hungry, come like salt and gearer Clowning, Michael Cera FIFA thing, bad goal with Shearer Mum told me, but I still couldn't hear her Now I still couldn't see things clearer It took me time to see the thing clear Told my mum I needed new trainers Lou tell your dad car there today Didn't feel bad asking him, it's weird He didn't give a shit and he never lived near So I rinsed him out from my kicks and gearer To go stay there, for he won't come here It was bangers, I told him it's shit when I'm here Why you got whacked? No way, come on. I should be able to do this. I've got 54, 54 HP. Oh, I keep losing count. Oh, I'm choking, I'm choking. Oh, it's freaking praying range. Please, just hit. I can hit like a 30 something with this thing. Why am I noodling? Oh my god. It's actually so hard. Yes, yes, hit. Oh, I thought that was it. Come on, please. Oh, I've lost track. Just pray range. Just change. Come on, me joking. Oh my god, it's actually chained. This is a troll. If I don't get this, if I die from 2 HP, I'm gonna be so mad. How am I not hitting? I've got a tier 3 bow on. Hello? There we go. Oh my god, I thought you had to do something special to finish it off there. I've done it. I've done challenge mode on day one. I'm so happy with myself. I'm actually, oh, I'm smiling, mate. I mean, it's probably the worst time of the entire game, but 11.54, new PB. Corrupted Gauntlet has been completed. Very nice. What are we going to get as a reward? I don't know if it's a better reward or not. I feel like that is a better reward. I've got a lot more items there. And we get the cape. Hey, I can flex. This looks weird. Got some big old shoulder pads. Like devil horns coming off the back there. What is this loot going to be? 167k plus the crystal shards as well. So that's it's more like 220, 250k probably. With the crystal key upgrade as well. If we go on the scoreboard. There's been 167 completions. Which means I'm in the first 167 people. However, obviously they can have repeat attempts. So I'd probably say I'm top. 40 or 50 in the game maybe i got really close on one of my earlier runs when it was like only 
10 people had done it, but I just, I just choked and just tried to eat some raw food. I'm, I'm happy with myself. It's been such a fun day. It's been a long one though as well. And there's so much more to explore in Prif. So I'm going to be doing that in future videos. If you did enjoy this one, I'd appreciate a like. Don't forget to subscribe for future content and I'll see you in the next video. Ooh.